Former Grand Rapids Christian star, Central Michigan standout, and now Dallas Cowboys safety, Kayvon Frazier, hosting his first free football camp for local kids at his alma mater. Frazier, who was a rookie with the Dallas Cowboys last season, used to also attend Harris's free camps when Kayvon was a kid. And a pleasure to have in studio with us tonight my uh, fellow Chippewa, albeit about 30 years apart, and of course, safety now with the Dallas Cowboys, uh, Kayvon Frazier. First of all, thanks for being here. Thanks for what you did for the kids on Friday. I know you were one of those kids that was going to those camps not too long ago. Yeah, I appreciate y'all having me. And, uh, yeah, actually, I went to David Harris' very, very first camp that he ran in. You know, he was the guy that really inspired me to have these free camps uh, coming back in Grand Rapids. I'm always amazed by, you know, the small group of you guys that have made it from West Michigan to the NFL. Almost all of them come back and give back. I mean, why was it mm -hmm. important for you to do that? You know, it's very important because I think I can speak for most of us. We feel like we was overlooked in uh, high school. Um, so that's why we had the showcase part of the camp. Um, in high school, I only had one offer, and I feel like I should have had way more. Uh, we just feel like... A lot of the people in Grand Rapids just, just feel like when college coaches go to look at players, they always go east to the east side of the yeah, state. Yeah. So it's really important for me to give back and uh, try to showcase some of these kids' talent. From one offer to uh, the Dallas Cowboys. I can, I can only <laughs> imagine what your year's been like, that whole thing from right. the draft to getting there to being a rookie going through a season. Uh, how much more comfortable will you be back going now this year compared to where, you know, everything was so brand new last year? Oh, yeah. You know, it's definitely a big step up. Um, we uh, Last year, I w it's kind of like I went from a rookie to a vet, like, overnight yeah. because <laughs> uh, now I'm one of those guys that uh, actually have a year in the system. And, you know, right. now we have a lot of guys that – that uh, is brand new to our system. Um, you know, we drafted, we drafted four defensive backs, and we got, we brought another one in from the Eagles. So, it's kind of like, you know, I'm one of those guys that that knows what's going on a little bit more and. Uh, and have a little bit of experience in our system. Do you ever look around? I mean, I, I know a lot of people love them, a lot of people hate them, but when it comes to passion, every, everybody has a feeling about the Cowboys. Do you ever look around and just say, wow, I'm a, I'm a Dallas Cowboy? Is it just strange to look and see yourself in that uniform? Yeah, definitely. Uh, you know, it's crazy because, you know, the Cowboys, you know, it's America's, you know, it, it's America's team. So, you know, it's just crazy just being a Dallas Cowboy and being out there on the field in that big stadium with the big jumbotron you know it's just just every day waking up you know just being a Dallas Cowboy is just a blessing. I was there the last two years for the Cotton Bowl Michigan State and Alabama a couple years mm -hmm. ago uh, Western last year with Wisconsin people ask me what's it like in that place and had a chance to walk around the field I mean <laughs> the suites at field level are like restaurant size right. how do you describe what that place the enormity of it? You really can't describe it until you actually go visit yeah, right. and actually see it like for me it was just crazy because my first time Going to it, my first time ever going to an NFL game in person was me actually playing in the really? NFL, yeah, playing in an wow. NFL game. So it was just all like different to me, anyways. Like, but like the stadium that we have in Dallas is just. <laughs> It's not, it's not normal. Jerry definitely, uh, he definitely did his thing yeah, on no, that. Knows how to put on a show, doesn't he? <laughs> right, for I, sure. I mentioned our difference in times at Central. There, there was a guy named John Bonamago playing football when I was at CMU. Obviously, you had a chance to play for him. Uh, how inspiring was he with all that he's gone through, obviously, when you were there with him? Man, it was crazy. Like, uh, that, it, that year that we had, my senior year, you know, we had a lot of different tragedies that we was facing. And just, and just to see him, you know, fighting his cancer that he had and battling and, and, uh, and getting through that, you know, it was really, it was real crazy. And um, I think we showed the passion that, it, that he had coaching us. I think we showed that on the field. Um, you know, everybody came into work every day hard because we saw what our coach was doing. He was battling cancer and then coming to practice and then having to do some more treatment. Right. Like, we, it, it, we definitely saw his pain, and, um, and people definitely felt how hungry we, we was on the field because we wasn't necessarily playing for us all the time. We was playing for him, uh, too. What, do you, what are your hopes for in year two in the NFL now? You know, I, I'm definitely hoping to make a, a big step up. Um, you know, I'm definitely more confident, and, and, I'm, and I'm just more comfortable out there now. Like, I got a year under my belt, yeah. and it's just how everything, and it's just like everything is clicking right now. So, well, hey, thanks for doing this. Thanks for helping with yeah. the kids, and uh, we wish you good luck this year. Yeah, I appreciate y'all having me. Thank you. All right, from a pair of Chippewas to a uh, Bronco and a Bulldog, we'll hear from <laughs> new Western head coach Tim Lester. He's one on one with Jack Dole's right after this on Sports Overtime.